Yes, the annual is all done, and now we find out what's this gonna cost. Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and yes, we got the plane out of annual, and today we are gonna go over what the annual cost and what I had done. The annual itself wasn't bad. The annual itself was only $1,200, which is a flat fee, which is what Posada Aviation charges to do all the services that are included in the annual. And included in the annual is the complete inspection, a boroscope uh, video inspection of the engine, the oil change, and a general safety inspection of the entire aircraft. And that includes the labor to get there. So that includes the labor to remove the inspection plates, to remove the cowling, remove everything, actually do the oil change. And it really wasn't that bad. So it was $1,200 for the annual. So of course, we did find some things that need to be addressed. And this is what we found in the annual. Number one, there was a crack in the exhaust system. So we had to drop the entire exhaust and we had to ship that out to get re-welded and redone. And that was about $890. And when it came back, that exhaust was actually perfect. So there was a lot of labor in removing the exhaust and putting the exhaust back in. So that labor actually wasn't really too much. It was about $315 to do the labor. And of course I helped in that. I don't know if that actually maybe costed more money with me being there, but it was, uh, it was a good opportunity to get in there and help. The second big thing that we found was one of the magnetos needed to be inspected. And thank goodness it didn't need to be replaced, but that mag had a little bit over 500 hours on it and that needed to be redone. So we took the mag off and we shipped it out to Eagle Magneto down in Florida and that came back and it was only $315 to get that mag inspected and get it rebuilt, which is actually a pretty good deal. The other safety issue that we found during the annual is the engine mounts, two of them needed to be replaced. That was about $392 total to get them redone. And that was really a safety issue. The annual was $1,200. The exhaust, everything was about another $1,100 to get that exhaust done, and the magneto was about $350 altogether. So, boom, 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 and this is the total I was looking at from the annual and the things that were necessary to have done. So, the big change I did was the LED beacon light, and number two is I put a chronometer in my plane, and it's a cross between a clock it's a voltmeter and it's a timer and it also has a G meter in it. This was about $250, but this really needed to get installed and it gave me a peace of mind because I was always looking for a good clock and I do have a timer on the GPS, but I don't want to sit there and fiddle with G GPS. I'd rather have a separate unit that I can set that timer, refer to the clock, and also the voltmeter is a big peace of mind because I had that little auto zone cigarette lighter voltmeter that wasn't giving me accurate readings. So now I know the plane is putting out 15.5 volts and it's got a steady 12.6 reading on it. So I know the battery and the electrical system is being charged and is all in good shape. So this is the total for all the things that needed to be done, including the annual. Now these are the safety upgrades that I decided to do while the plane was taken apart. Number one, I put an LED beacon on there. That just gives me a huge, huge peace of mind. Number two, I put a new clock, a chronometer, and it's also a G meter and it's a voltage meter. This also gave me a huge peace of mind in there. Number three, you have seen these yokes during the past two years that I've had this channel and it was time to redo them. So I redid my control yokes and also I bought a new push to talk switch, which was only, I think, $5. And that just dropped right in and the wiring went really, really simple on that. So this was a huge cosmetic upgrade in there. And just look at these yokes. This is beautiful. This is what the annual cost with the necessary upgrades that I had to make per the FAA regulations. And this number is what I decided to add onto that for the upgrades I wanted to make. So. It is a big total, but there is a huge peace of mind. And also I'm upgrading this airplane slowly as I go along. So I'm not taking a loan out on it. I'm putting the money into it. And the satisfaction and the peace of mind and the safety that I'm getting out of it is far worth it. So this is what to expect in an annual. These are the numbers to expect 
drop me a line, send me an email if you have any questions, let me know how you're doing, and that's right, if you are over 50, remember, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.